Hey everybody, this is round five of Pandemic, Reign of Cthulhu. All right, things are looking, I, I think, okay. We've got three Arkham cards and three, three Arkham Clue cards and three Innsmouth Clue cards. And we need five to close gates. So I need more clues, I think more than anything. I almost wish there was like a special action where you could draw a new, another clue card or something. Because right now, I don't know what people need to really focus on other than getting clues. So I think I'll just do the occultist first, kind of randomly, to be honest. I'm not, oh, this relic is no longer valid. It's no longer in play. Uh, that was the relic that sort of saved them from sanity rolls. I think I'm just going to have the cultist go first, and I'm going to have her send this Shogoth back two spaces. So uh, that'll be one, two, I think. Is it two spaces or one? It's only one. Okay, one location. That's just to kind of get, get him away from that gate. He wants to get to the gate so he can make us lose the game, but she's just used one action to force... No, she's used two actions to force him back one location, thereby delaying the end by that much more. She can also move one space for her third and then get rid of a cultist for her fourth action. And I mean, that's, that's how this game is played. So she draws the Dunwich. That's bus fare and an Arkham. The hunter is collecting Arkham cards right now. So that's a useful thing. She needs that Arkham card, the hunter does. And she has a relic that means that she can get it. So that's even better. All right. That's, that's that. Actually, you know what? I need to check to make sure that relic cards don't require sanity checks. I kind of feel like they might, and I don't, I think I've, I've played relic cards now without sanity checks. This game is, okay, so yeah, uh, to play a card, during a turn, may play a relic card, it's not an action. Yeah, okay, no, I guess, oh wait, after playing a relic card and resolving its effect, remove it from the game, and the player who played it from their hand does a sanity roll. Feels like the relic cards ought to have a symbol on it telling you to do a sanity roll to remind you, because that's, that's really buried in the rules, to be honest. Okay, um, so this is rolling for the relic card for the occultist. Oh dear. Those are two cultist symbols. So I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I'm assuming it means to add, add two cultists. Yep, it does. To your current location. So the, the, she got rid of one cultist, and it turns out that the cultist just went home and got a friend, came back. So they're back. That's, that's actually not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it could be bad. It could be bad, but I, I'm not too concerned about that. So that's the occultist's turn. Well, it's not, it's not over yet, right? She has to, she has to, yeah, she has to summon. Boardwalk and Great Hall. Uh, Boardwalk and Great Hall. Boardwalk's over here. So that's got three cultists on it now. That's not good. Great Hall, Gr Great Hall has two cultists on it. That's not great. Um, oh, and there's a Shogoth moves icon on the Great Hall card. So this guy moves right back up here where, where the cultist had just moved him from. That's annoying. So a lot of that turn got undone by the rest of the turn. That's really annoying. Now it's the hunter's turn. I'm just going to have her pop on over to the boardwalk for one action and then get rid of all three cultists for, for her second action. Uh, and then, I mean, she could... She could probably just... move down here to get rid of this cultist just for kicks or she could move back to the portal 
and then go here into the to the yeah i think i'm gonna have her do that am i though because she's got a bunch of cards no she doesn't she does not have insmith cards all right so third action is to go back to the portal fourth action is to use the portal to go to arkham so that's her fourth action now unfortunately when you use a portal as a mere mortal you have to roll the sanity die so this is yet another oop i think he was was he at the diner or i don't remember where he was oh well he's at the diner now so that is one sanity lost so i'm just doing the sanity tokens in reverse instead of losing sanity you gain i guess insanity so i'll add a little token to her card she's got a total she's got a threshold of four and she's only got one token on her card now so that's it's fine i mean it's fine ish because i mean there's no way to recover it you can't get rid of insanity so so it's her turn and she does have this silver no not the silver key oh she did have the silver key she could have just gone to that portal all over her on, on her own anyway oh well so the relic there's a chaos mirror you can swap one clue card from your hand with a clue card in another player's hand so i kind of feel like that would be perfect because she's got three arkham cards what's her name the uh, occultist has one so i think i'm just gonna swap i'm gonna grab that arkham card trade a Dunwich card. So now I've got four Arkham cards. I've used the Chaos Mirror. And because she used a Relic, and she is a mere mortal still, she has to do another Sanity roll. Can I do it such that I don't knock any cultists off the map? Oh dear, that's two, two Sanity tokens. Two Insanity tokens that she gets. That's not good. So my hunter is losing her grip quickly on reality. So she's got three tokens. She has a threshold of four. So she really needs to be careful or else she will start losing abilities. Okay, so let's see what she draws up for her cards. Arkham, that's what she needed, right? I mean, it's definitely what she needed. Does, she, does that finish her collection? Yes, she's got five clues. On her next turn, on the next round, we get to close Arkham. That's brilliant. That's really good. Um, I ju I'm just noticing you can't really even see this card in in the camera. So I'm going to move the player cards. Oops. The player cards I'm going to move. And then their collection of clues I'm going to move closer as well. That way maybe we can get a little bit better of an idea of the game state. Okay. And now I need to do the summoning step which is the pawn shop and the Shogoth moves and the farmstead. Okay, so that's... The farmstead is probably here. Yep. Pawn shop is over here. Okay, pawn shop has three... three cultists on it, so that's a worry. And the Shogoth moves. So this Shogoth here moves into this space with the occultist. With the occultist. Which means that the occultist has to roll a sanity die. Did that feel like I cheated it? I didn't mean to. But nothing, so she's fine. I realized that after I rolled, I don't know, it felt like I just put the dice down or something. I'm really trying to do it so that I'm, I'm not um, knocking cultists off the board. The Shogoth has moved. That's fine, sort of. Not really. I mean, honestly, it's kind of, it totally is fine. I, I almost wish the Shogoth would just move into the portal space, because then the Hunter can just get rid of him the next round. But either way, that gate is going to be sealed. So I'm not too worried about that development at all. This development is worse. Three cultists in one place, like I say, they're going to start el uh, summoning Elder Gods. Those have global ramifications. Not fun. When the hunter sh c confronts the Shogoth, she has to roll sanity. And that's a pity, because, I mean, she can, she can get the Shogoth. She can do away with it. It's just, it's just 
the the cost of sanity in order to do to, to do that is even worse. Both investigators are in Arkham now, and the hunter is also protecting that gate, so that if that Shogoth ends up moving into her space, she can just get rid of the Shogoth. Feeling okay about this still. We'll see how much longer I can last. We'll find out next time. Thanks for watching.